Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's Wednesday, and we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to show you, uh, as we pull the items, what we're going to be using to ship the items in. So we're going to do it one at a time as we're pulling. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and I think we had, what, like 10 sales today? So we'll see how it goes. All right, starting in box BS. That's not good. I'm starting in the BS box. <laughs> Can't get through that way. <laughs> All right. This is my Cabana Life box, I guess. That's all that's in there. I uh, sold another one of these swim sets. So this sold on eBay for $30 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent out to a watcher. I have $10 into each of these. Um, so yeah, for as far as shipping goes, since it did sell on eBay, I'm just gonna put it in a normal poly mailer, so probably. I like to kind of like pick one that looks <laughs> like it if I can, so like that's pretty. Kind of, yeah. Like that. Um, if that did sell like say on Poshmark, I would use either a very slim box or one a Tyvek, of yeah. Tyvek, so that's for that guy. And just to let you guys know, she said BS, that was our Cabana Life box. That's because we have multiple of this exact kind right here. This same size, it's all brand new and packed. We wouldn't do that if it was, you know, if we had two of the same things that were used or different. No. You know, we have those in different boxes so that we don't pull the wrong one. Yeah, and even if I had like multiples but different sizes, did yeah. you say that? I we would keep the different in. sizes in different boxes yeah. so we don't have to look at the size, so. Just wanted to clarify that because we always say we try to keep it as yeah. random and po as possible, except in the case of having multiple quantities of the same exact thing. Yep, and uh, we don't have very many of those things right. yet, but that's something I want to get into definitely a lot more. Right. I think you. Yes. I just thought this was a really nice flannel. I didn't even look up comps when I bought it. It's just Vans brand. Um, and honestly, I didn't even, I just thought it was so nice. I put it in my cart and bought it. Like it's, it's actually a pretty cool shirt. It's just full zip instead of button up. Okay. And it's basically like a shacket. Like it has pockets. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I called it a flannel shirt shacket. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, this sold in one day, like the same day I listed it on Facebook marketplace and two other people had messaged me before this person, the third person ended up just buying it. So when I get a lot of interest right away, I didn't even respond to the first two comments right. because... Well, they were just asking if it was available, which, I mean, it's listed, so it's available. I know a lot of people cancel right. orders and stuff, so I understand why people are skeptical, but I would have answered eventually, but I was like, I'll let it go for a little longer, and yeah. it ended up selling, so. And 90% of the time, the question after, is this available, is what's the lowest you'll go, right. or how, how, how it's your best So I don't even meal. want, yeah, I don't even want to get to that point, so I usually <laughs> just... Yeah, unless I'm really ready to get rid of it. But right. on Facebook, this stuff sells usually same or next day. So it's like brand new listings that people are wanting a lower price and I just don't really do that. So. Yeah. So that's Facebook. How are we going to ship yeah, that? So that one, it's under a pound. So again, we're just going to do a poly mailer. Um, I don't know, since it's a dude shirt, I <laughs> guess I'll just pick this plain mailer. Mm. I don't know. Chris says the poly mailer describes the person sending it, which I'm sure is true, but... I don't know. That's I my feel opinion. Weird. I don't know. Do you care if you get? Would you be like weird if you got this in the mail? I guess it's I would not, not weird, but <laughs> I don't know. In my I, opinion, I, guess the, I wouldn't yeah. care either. But the, my opinion, the packaging, it, it, like like Kathy said, is is more representative I think I'm of the mailer. To it because I think I had one person comment that was a dude who was like, "Thanks for the flowers." It was something like that. <laughs> something the floral like that. mailer or something. <laughs> like I didn't know if he was kidding or right. just. But anyways. I took it. <laughs> I took it to heart, so now I, yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, so AJ, put some keen little baby sandals. Um, these I sold also on Facebook. Facebook was pretty hot overnight. Um, I sold them for 16 plus shit. That's a little lower than I normally do Keens for, but I didn't notice this when I bought them. The like little pull tabs on the backs has somebody's name on them. So. Oh. I noted that obviously and normally I'd try to get at least 20 plus shipping, but I figured I'd do like 20 free ship because 16 plus ship is about 20 free ship. Yeah. So I paid $3.99 for them. I got my at least $10 profit out of it. So these are little baby shoes. They're only about six ounces or so. So again, I just put them in a mailer. 
I feel like this is a fun one for little kiddos. <laughs> yeah. So, that, not that the kid will probably even see the shoes or the mailer before their mom, <laughs> you know. All right, so basket. So this Rockies hat. So I picked this up at a garage sale, I think last summer, but it was just sitting in our hat waiting to be washed basket for a long time. <laughs> so once it finally got washed, I got it listed and it sold fairly quickly. This was another one that was getting a ton of interest on Facebook and I actually was answering the people all, at least three people said, is this available? And I said, yes. And they never either asked for lower, which it was only $10. This sold for $10 plus shipping. Right. But nobody asked for lower or anything. They just asked, is it available? Yes. Then ghosted me. So right. that's what I guess happens often too. So it is Facebook, Facebook marketplace. It, it, that's a very common, <laughs> everyone starts with, is this available? Yep. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes they say, what's your lowest price? Sometimes they don't even answer yeah. if you respond. So almost never do they just buy it uh, outright after asking a right. question. So anyways, yeah, so a dollar into 10 plus shipping, not too bad. Um, so this is a hat. We do like to ship all our hats in boxes. So yeah, I got the label, the buyer paid for the, cause a hat is pretty light. Like you could ship right. it in a mailer under the eight ounce mark, but it's going to be all crumbled up and stuff if you right. do that. So we like to put some of our, the pops that Amazon sends you and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then we just do a little box. Uh, I might grab a different one after the video. Yeah, but I think we have some eight by eight by eights. Yeah, and this we also have a closet. bunch of reused boxes <laughs> that our neighbors gave us, that is so true. we need to get rid of those. But yeah, just a box like this keeps it under a pound still. Um, so yeah, that's what we do for hats. I'm not saying you have to ship it in a box, but it definitely gets good ratings. Yeah. All right, and then A Z. So this little Patagonia baggies dress. Um, picked this up at Goodwill recently. So when I was typing in my inventory for this day, it looked like they gave me a senior discount. <laughs> it was just <laughs> funny, like I don't know why I could well. Um, but I, I'll take it. It was like 15% <laughs> off my whole bill, which my bill was over hundred bucks that day. So because of that, this was a dollar, but because of the 15% discount after tax and everything, I paid 91 cents for it. So pretty good deal. Um, mm -hmm. Someone on Posh, offered me 30 and I was happy to accept, which it's funny because we always say we rarely get either double sales or double offers within the same time period on an item, but. From different yeah, platforms. Yeah, so last night when this sold, I was like kind of just doing laundry and just cleaning around the house. So wasn't really looking at my phone. And then I had an offer on this on Posh. I had an offer on this on Mercari. <laughs> And then somebody on Facebook, they didn't buy it, but they like commented on it with their PayPal email as if it was like a buy, sell, trade group instead of just buying the mm. listing. So mm -hmm. I quickly deleted it from Facebook. Then I tried to figure out which was better, the offer on Mercari or Posh, and they were the same. I was gonna make about $24 after fees and everything. So I just went with the Posh, mostly because to me, it's the easiest one to print the label and right. stuff on. So yeah, $30, I get 24 minus 91 cents. Um, so this is, since this is a posh skill, I kind of like selling tiny things because we have these cute little, these boxes that I like to use for stuff like that. So right. we don't have a ton of these because we don't use them that often, but yeah. Just like a build your own little box. All kind of self-contained. Yeah. And then you just the label fits right on there. there well. But again, you could use your own poly, you can use a Tyvek whatever you want but it is Poshmark so you are basically the buyer pays to use this kind of shipping because yeah. that's it's free to you so yep. uh, you and know we just use it why not they pay for priority <laughs> shipping so they're gonna get their item a little quicker right in. and you're also more likely to get positive or love notes on Poshmark if you're using like nice packaging you know yeah I actually just bought something off Posh and it came in the mail today and I mean I still give them a five star and everything the item was as described but the box it was just a pair of kids pajamas and it was just thrown in the box no extra i know there's like the debate about the extra padding so i don't like dog anybody for that right. that's a personal choice they might just feel like they're saving plastic and stuff like that so that's fine like the stuff just i mean maybe she folded it to begin with but to me it just looked like the box was big yeah i don't even have clothes but it was just like all shoved like in the box like yeah. this so I don't know it just wasn't I wasn't like oh 
I'm so glad I paid $20 for these pajamas. You know, I was more like... You sure it doesn't bother you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So I just like... I don't know. Maybe I'm just yeah. like you because I do it, but yeah. Well, and... She's still got a five star. I do think maybe. Poshmark <laughs> users generally expect a little bit better packing. Like, you know, a lot of... Uh, what is that? Tissue paper wrapping and yeah. stuff like that. We've kind of compromised with our shipping. We do the clear poly bags that everything's in, or not poly, that's cellophane, cellophane bags, and then a thank you sticker, and that's about as fancy as we get, so. And it might've just been because like it was a small item in a fairly large box. Right. I did also buy something else today that came, got delivered, and that was a Mercari. It was just like a fleece, and they just put it in a bubble mail and no extra padding, which was fine, but it was folded nicely and neatly, yeah. and it, I don't know, that package was more, happy to open that. I don't know <laughs> I sound like a complainer package your stuff however you want if you're not getting complaints I but, think it's a you know problem. she said we won't doc we won't give a bad rating for that but there are people that will so just yeah. be careful <laughs> try to pack nice you know yeah I think ours is a fairly quick and easy and inexpensive way if you do pack. go read through some of our reviews or love notes on posh you're gonna see a lot of Great packing. Uh, great packaging. Can tell seller cares about their items. Right. Looks clean, looks neat, stuff like that. So those kind of comments make me feel happy, but yeah. All right. So those, Anyhow. those Crocs, how <laughs> are we going to pack those up? So these Crocs, um, this was a Poshmark seal. So Posher VA sent the offer 28 with discount shipping and this buyer accepted. So I had 1081 in the, into these shoes, average cost of goods, like... Yeah. I don't pay $10 for Crocs. People are always messaging, asking how much would you pay for Crocs. Not saying I wouldn't pay $10 for Crocs, but this pair I probably would not have. But right. because I averaged my cost of goods, it came out to 10 bucks. So I basically doubled my money. Um, but yeah, Crocs on Poshmark would just... It's probably like a regional shoe box? Or? Um, yeah, so I would either do a shoe box. Sometimes I might have to repackage them if I use this box, just like flip the shoes yeah that's just a regular shoe box size yeah. there because like let's see sometimes they can just fit right in like this but chris doesn't like it when they like <laughs> do that so then we always like let me try to show you what i'm talking about just like rearrange them kind of like this. how they would be in a normal shoe box yeah. yeah and then they would just fit in like that so uh they seem to fit just fine in that box so yeah we'll do the shoe box for those crocs Again, it's Poshmark. Poshmark is super easy. Yeah, that's why. It's a great place I, to start rather, reselling if you haven't started, or if you're scared. That's why I'm to so start. happy about Poshu VA because it's making me these sales, and it saves a lot of time. Because eBay, we were making the most sales. Now we're almost even. Yeah. This month, at least, anyways. Um, In number of sales. But eBay yeah. does take longer for shipping because you have to figure out the weight, the size, like everything, yeah. like that. So. All right. I don't have to move you, Reese. <laughs> what you doing down there? <laughs> Sleeping hard. All right, so these are some Salomon boots. They sold on Mercari today for $38 plus shipping. That was an offer I accepted. I picked these up this summer at a garage sale for two bucks, so a really good sale. Um, because those are Mercari, not because they're Mercari, but because they're FedEx Smart Post, you cannot use the USPS boxes because they're gonna go FedEx, so. so um, that's a build your own box type of situation. Yeah, brown box. So I would generally just go in our little closet and find something. Yeah, we have us and our family members. We kind of all collect old Amazon boxes and we store them until we're ready to use. Most of the time we break them down, but the little ones we've had, kind of yeah. I mean, we go through find one that fits. Quickly. Looks like that fits well. Yep. That's what I do for FedEx. So. And then we just put our new label right over the old label and, whoops. <laughs> And yeah. And then yeah, if, if if this was like FedEx Smart Post, but like a sweater or something, I would probably just I would just use a mailer. Right, a poly mailer. mailer yeah. But yeah, it just has to stay under three pounds, which these easily will. So we're good to go. Oh yeah. All right. Also, we would use uh, void fill in the case of this. Yeah. Because it's shoes, you don't want them bouncing around too much. So yeah, that's another thing. We do have a roll, but we also have a bunch of yeah. paper that people- My brother and his family just moved from Vegas a couple, uh, like a month or two ago, and they have tons of that packing paper, and we've just been using that and going through that. Yeah. All right, so this fossil wallet on eBay, or actually this is going to a viewer. I'm pretty sure she's bought from us several times, Angela. Thank you so much. 
Uh, $15 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent to her as a watcher. Um, that was my personal wallet. I actually bought that from a different friend off Kitizen maybe a year ago. I used it a few times. I just don't really <laughs> use much wallets and purses. <laughs> Anyways, I think I paid 20 for it, and then Angela scooped it up for $15 plus shipping, so thank you so yeah, much. Angela, thank you for the support. Hope you enjoy the wallet more than Kathy did. <laughs> when it's a viewer, I always like pick one of my favorite mailers, which yeah. is usually these strawberries. Yeah. Or these really, I really like this floral. Yeah. So I'm going to do this floral, because mostly because it's thick and the strawberry's a little thinner. Right. I like to use the thinner ones for like things that are really close to the like eight ounce mark. You right, know, right. Just try to make sure it doesn't go. Because they're lighter. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that one is for Angela. So I we get our mailers from everywhere, but yeah. So magical mailers. I don't have a code for them, but shipping hip. That was this floral. This one we do have a code for down in the description. I know that last week she posted that they were running low, so I'm not sure if they ran out of these, but that if print, you like yeah. these, go check, I guess. Um, and grab some before they run out. They said they're not going to restock this print, which this was my favorite. I've ordered probably 2,000 of these yeah. since I've heard about their company. So, um, But they did just release some really cute Halloween ones, which I ordered. So hopefully they'll be here in a week or so. Yeah. And I'll show you guys them because I really like them. All right. And then AK. So these Kid Converse on Facebook for 18 plus shipping. I have 656 into those average cost of goods from the JBF sale a few months back. Um, so these are just under a pound, so I'm gonna put them in a, let me see how much under a pound they are, because that will depend on which mailer I choose. All right, so we got a least an ounce to work yeah. with, so any mailer would be fine. I'm probably gonna choose a padded mailer for those. Um, even though they're not, they didn't sell on eBay, I just put the, Label, label over cover the it, yeah. eBay thing. Not that it actually matters. I don't right. care if it shows eBay, but <laughs> yeah, that's what those ones will go in. And those actually came free. Well, not free, but eBay has a quarterly coupon to anyone who has an eBay store. And our store level gives us what, like 25 50 I think. Oh, $50 every, dollars every, every quarter. three months. So, and we actually need to spend ours. Yeah, by the end of this month. We haven't bought any <laughs> new stuff lately, but yeah, that's where we got that and these boxes here that say eBay on them. So yeah, and a lot of poly the, mailers too we got from them. We have the fifty dollar a month store, so I think that's why we get that. I think it's fifty or sixty dollars a month, maybe fifty nine. Yeah. Um, the one below that I think gives you twenty five a quarter, and then the basic five dollar store doesn't give you a coupon, but. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also where you can get like this eBay tape. We have the eBay tape here. That all comes from that coupon. Yeah, and you don't have to use the coupon. Those. You could buy it with mo real money, you know? Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, crazy. Right. I wouldn't probably buy the eBay <laughs> supplies with my real money, but. <laughs> wow, that tape's lasted forever. That was the first yeah. thing we I mean, ever you can bought. see our stash over there. And it was just one pack, I think, we bought, and it's lasted over a year. We've only been on eBay just over and a it's year. And right? it's a thinner tape, so it's lighter, too. So if you're trying to keep <laughs> stuff under weight, you know, sometimes we'll use the eBay tape when. Uh, weight is the critical issue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, last sale of today is just this Vineyard Vine shirt. This was just one of my sons. I don't remember where I got it. Probably either ThreadUp or Kitizen. Probably around 15 to 18 bucks is what I paid, I would assume. And I sold it on eBay today for $19.68 plus shipping. So probably about breaking even on that. And we will just do a... Easy poly mailer job. I don't know which one should I use for this. <laughs> How about make today a great day? This is another shipping hit. <laughs> yeah. I do like those ones, so. All right, well, that is it for now. So we're gonna get the stuff all put in all the packaging that we have kind of yeah. like chaos out here. <laughs> we're not used to doing it this way, but we'll be right back with the stuff all packed up. Yep. All right, real quick guys. One thing I we kind of mentioned, but I forgot to uh, say it at the end is we do use these thank you stickers and we just put those yeah. on the clear cellophane bags kind of where they open up just to uh it doesn't really need any help keeping them closed but you know that's just the natural show it'll the sticker will draw the customer to where the opening flap is so yeah and just a, a thank you and then you know these ones specifically say thanks for supporting my small business so yeah i think everybody likes supporting small business yes and and that's pretty much all the packaging that we do. And then we put it inside 
of whatever, the... whatever we're mailing it in. So yeah. we did want to, oh, people right. always ask us about hats and this is kind of how we do our hats and bras. So if you imagine this hat as a bra, <laughs> just imagine two hats together in that. <laughs> um, oh. I just put those air pocket bubble things just to kind of keep the form, put it in the plastic to, you know, if there's weather or anything yeah. and then put the sticker and then I actually found a different box besides the one we showed you. Right. Just fits in there neatly. Usually doesn't move around or anything. So, so yeah. And then you can see, like, this is only. I think people think that boxes are, you know, super heavy, but it just depends. Like, that's just over nine ounces, including the box. So. Right. Yeah, that's so tape and a label will keep it, you know, still under 10. Yeah, even on eBay, that's only like four dollars and something for shipping. So. Right. Because that is first class. Now, with first class, you're not going to get the built in insurance coverage. But honestly, <laughs> in our experience, with as much as we ship out, we rarely, rarely, rarely um, yeah. get things damaged or lost. Insurance ever, so. Yeah. And that was from our packaging. That was, yeah. it wasn't good. It was the first time we shipped a coffee mug and it broke. We weren't good at it. It literally was the first time we're like, oh, I guess that's how you learn that, right? <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and get this all packed up and we'll be right back. <laughs> I said that already. <laughs> All right, guys, everything's all packed up. That actually went a lot quicker because we had everything ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we did switch out one of the boxes that we were gonna use. Yeah, but... I felt like the shoes sitting upwards. I'm, <laughs> I'm so weird, like I have no reasoning for things that I do, but I just it works. like things a certain way. <laughs> Doing something so. right. <laughs> yeah. So that's gonna do it for today's What's Sold. Do you have anything else you wanna say? <sighs> no, I got my 30. Well, you still see all these shoes. Oh, yeah. I did photograph my 30 pairs. Photographed just all these. I got done drafting them, and I will be listing them. Well, we're about to pick up the kids and then do dinner. I did say I'll take them to the park tonight, so. Yeah. I might not be listing till this evening, but I want to, at least until we're caught up on everything, I want to keep my. I've been doing 30 a day this whole week, and I've kept up on it. Right. even though it's not during the work day. Right. Um, and the 30 a day right now, like these are harder things that obviously t ended yeah. up in the death pile for one reason or another. But once I'm sourcing again, it'll be faster items. So right. I think 30 a day at that point will be a lot easier because it'll be specifically things I'm looking over right. better and stuff like that. Sourcing with more intention, uh, yes. you know, not just getting <laughs> so, lost in how much money we can make on an item, but realizing how much time it would take to get that listed, which is fairly important. I think, especially once you get to a point where you're doing, you know, 10, 15 sales a day, you, you can only clean so many shoes in a day. <laughs> so, um, we try to source stuff that we do not have to clean or, you know, very <laughs> yeah, very little, uh, work that needs between sourcing and listing. But that is gonna do it for today. We got that stuff packed up. Kathy's gonna take it off the post office. It is Wednesday. Usually I go hang out with some friends on Wednesday nights. So that's gonna be it for today. So hopefully today you guys might have learned something from how we do our shipping. Let us know if you did down in the comments and that would be awesome. So, yeah. Or if you do something different. Or if you do something different. Maybe you did something You'll different. Something maybe different. you find, you know, maybe we're doing something a little pricier or more or confusing, more confusing <laughs> than it needs to be. Who knows? This is the great thing about YouTube. We can all learn and grow together. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.